An eight-year-old girl is dead and her father is recovering in the hospital after an ATV crash in North Springfield late last night. Good evening, I'm Paul Adler. The Springfield Police Department says the two crashed into a utility pole while riding a four-wheeler. That eight-year-old died at the hospital where her father is recovering. Reagan DeTrolio talked with neighbors who live nearby. I looked out the door and I saw about four or five cops sitting down there at the corner. Kathy and Mike live right by where the ATV crash happened at the intersection of Jane Street and Missouri Avenue, not far from Kansas and Kearney. I don't know a whole lot, whole lot about it, but they started at 11 something and they didn't leave till after one o'clock this morning. And they, so they parked one of the squad cars down at that end to block the road at an angle to block the road a little bit. The Springfield Police Department says the father, 29 year old Brian Hurd, was driving the four wheeler just hours before the crash. Eight year old Jabriah Hurd was riding on the back of the vehicle. You can see there's still pink markings on the ground where the crash happened. They were just looking for something. They had their flashlight out looking on the ground and then Another cop came up and then three more cops came up and I went on a motorcycle. And how many cop cars did you say you guys saw probably? I saw at least eight and then the motorcycle and I don't know if there was any more or not. And then the ambulance came. So I thought, well, something something happened. If you're thinking of buying an ATV, the Missouri State Highway Patrol states you can drive them on residential streets or highways as long as you don't go over 30 miles per hour. Those under 18 years old must be wearing a helmet and you must have an accurate license and registration. Neighbors say they've seen plenty of four-wheelers drive down their street in the past. They drive pretty fast on They're this road that, anyways. I mean. SPD confirms the eight-year-old who died was a Springfield Public School student and SPS is currently in the process of notifying staff and students. Reporting in Springfield, I'm Reagan DeTrolio, KY3 News.